This video is going to be focused on our piano setup. When we use the black Alesis keyboard, we run the keyboard through a computer, which then provides different tones like piano sound and synth sound and stuff like that, that then runs into the sound system. And when we do that, we need to use both the laptop bag and the supplies in the Missouri State bookstore bag shown in this picture. So we need to start setting up the piano. The first thing is we're gonna plug the piano in. The power cord is found in the bookstore bag along with everything else that you're gonna see in this video pretty much. The second thing we're gonna find is the sustain pedal. And you're gonna plug in that quarter inch into the sustain jack on the keyboard. Next, we're going to find the bag with the audio interface. The audio interface does a lot of stuff. We're just going to set it right on the keyboard for now. And we're going to get out the MIDI cable. The MIDI cable allows for the keyboard to connect to the audio interface. And so you're going to plug it into the out, the MIDI out on the keyboard, and the in, the MIDI in on the interface. The sound is going out of the keyboard in to the interface. And then finally, you've got the USB, which will connect to the back of the interface, and then the USB will connect to the computer. To connect the keyboard to the sound system, we run out of the phones jack on the back of the interface. So you're going to get your instrument cable, you're going to plug it into the phones jack, you're going to run it through a direct box and into the Behringer. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open the laptop. You're going to sign in using hashtag whatnowcch, and then you're going to click on this 801 piano file that's located on the desktop. You're going to wait for Reason to boot up, and once it does, you're going to find this Detach Sequencer button, so that way you can get a fuller screen of what you need. To set it up correctly, you need to go to Edit and then Preferences, and we need to do two things in preferences. First, we need to go to the audio page and make sure that the correct audio card driver is selected. The correct audio card driver is the ASIO audio box ASIO driver. That's the audio interface that we connected earlier. And then we need to go to keyboards and control surfaces and we need to add our keyboard as a controller for the software. So we're gonna add and go to manufacturer and select other. We're going to find the MIDI keyboard, and right now you're just going to hit a key or two and it's going to register as a MIDI in, and now the software is connected to the keyboard and vice versa. And so now you can toggle back and forth between the tones um, by clicking that record enable button and you're all set.